What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm Don. Hope things are going well for everybody in Louisiana and everywhere else with, uh, you know, the hurricane that hit. Um, by the time you'll see this, it had been a week. I hope power's back on. Uh, I don't know. Just those situations in life make it so much harder. But anyway, I'm thinking about you. Today I'm doing a subscriber request. At least I think you're a subscriber. Anyway, YouTube doesn't tell us this part, but is that what empty means? That's the screen name, and it's Emmy Lou Harris's song, Easy From Now On. I don't think I know this song. Boop. There we go, gone again. Ready. Same old story's gotta come to an end. Loving him was a word. Life's just hard. I mean, I don't know in which order I'll post these because I just did Willie Nelson's song, Always On My Mind. And, you know, he had heartache, but this was almost like the continuation of it from the woman's perspective. <laughs> Not totally. I mean, a little bit different, but the heartache involved, you know, I don't know. I... I have so many thoughts and I don't like to be controversial or, or I mean, I don't mind being controversial, not for the sake of it. You know, it's just some thoughts, you know, diverge from other thoughts and then you have the meeting of the minds. And But, you know, marriage is just hard. Relationships are hard. Life is hard. There are these beautiful moments. You know, I've had like this paradigm shift in life. Not recently. I mean, years ago, some years back, you know, I had this idea and I think a lot of people do this youthful enthusiasm that you get. And, and maybe they're false promises given to us by the cocoon we live in, maybe formally or maybe just they're absorbed that life is supposed to go just so smoothly, you know, and you're in your parents' home, they're feeding you. Presumably there's enough there to allow you to formulate certain optimistic thoughts and 
if you're an extremist in ways or perfectionistic in ways, maybe you adopt this way of thinking that life is supposed to be mostly easy with some moments of hardship built in. And then you get older and, and then you have you know, decades behind you, maybe three decades, let's say you're 30 years old or 40 years old, whatever age, and you're looking back and you realize you have the benefit of perspective, retrospective, and you realize, yeah, there were really good moments in life, but there were far more hard moments than you maybe were prepared for when you were younger. I mean, your parents and school teachers don't necessarily want to tell you Life is brutal. Enjoy the good moments while you have them because hardship is going to revisit you. Every, you know, Anne Lamott said it well, or she was quoting someone else in one of her books. And the quote was that, you know, there's a price we pay just for waking up in the morning. And songs like this by Emmy Lou, um, whether she wrote it or not, it's irrelevant in this context, just are so emblematic or reveal you know, a certain sliver of that hardship, you know, but then she's going to go out and make it worse, you know, um, and, you know, as I understood the song, she was going to go out, maybe sleep with somebody on a Saturday night and have a month of Sundays to regret it. And also I couldn't make out all the lyrics, even though I had headphones on, I'm not quite sure why that was. Some songs are spoken or sung with better diction than others. John Prine, I pretty much have no difficulty understanding him, despite the fact that he jam-packs his songs with lyrics. Um, this song wasn't as easy, though I love listening to Emmy Lou, of course. So, oh boy. I am going to come in with an 8.7. It was beautiful. That's what I could say. It was sad. Um, some sad songs are tens, you know, they hit the nail on the head. This was a very pretty song, and that's where I'm going to leave that one. So is that what empty means? I'm going to be doing another Emmy Lou song uh, coming up soon, maybe even tomorrow, depending on in which order I post them, uh, which I never know. I, I record eight or ten songs in the sitting, and then I sometimes mix them up a little bit. So anyway, there you go. Have a great day, guys. See you on another video. Okay, rocking a country. Oh,